what used to be there and what's there now. Wow. Hey everybody, this is Jacques Gaines, and I am here to talk to you about Gen Erase, which just came out in Luminar Neo version 1.15. So anyone who already has the software, go and get the update, because it's going to be worth it. And uh, I just wanted to show you how Gen Erase works. And this photo right here is a great example of how well it thinks. Stay tuned. I just want to make sure that you understand what Gen Erase is. I tend to be confused by the name. What it really means is Generative Erase. Now, what that means is a way of erasing a spot where Generative Erase will try to look at the rest of the photo to generate something that'll fill the part that has just been erased with something that makes sense. let's say you do use the erase tool you decide okay I'll select a couple of places I want to erase I want to get rid of the lens flare here here and here the erase tool will do the best it can to try to erase what's going on but the results are not great that's where generative erase comes in so what we're looking at now are lens flares if you look at this picture it really is kind of nice but if you do not want a lens flare in a photo, it is not easy to take out because you have a subject matter that's through the lens flare that you're looking at. So what you might want to do is get rid of these flares. Let's just try Gen Erase for the first time. And it's up here. I go and click on it and I'm in a Gen Erase window. Now what you do is you just select what you want to erase and let the magic go so select these two spots right here and uh, i will say to the software erase and we'll let it go and we'll see what happens how much they spent just on the technology to show us these little lines while it's doing what it needs to do and there you go you can see what happens right here is that when we look at that we can see that there has been some work done in that spot when we bring the mouse back over it'll just show us the selection now what I'm gonna try to go do is see if it can deal with this right here I'll pick these right here more lens flares. The AI's got to realize that it's a lens flare and that's what it needs to be taking out. So I'm eager to see if it can do it. Uh, the button is not a lens flare. And here we go. Do be do be be dee na boo dee do be boo do be do be do be boo dee do boo 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 blue slew do boo Boop, 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 boop. Okay, so let me pull my hand out here. See that? That's where I selected, and that's where it went away. So it did a pretty good job. Let's just look at what it might look like before. That's the lens flare you had before, and that's without. Before, without. I really think that's great. Very, very good. I'm going to save this. There you go. <laughs> Uh, now I can take this, go back to the catalog, and it has saved for me Generative Creations right there. Those are nice photos. I got these photos from, um, from like a catalog. So I think I found a photo that might work pretty well. Why don't I take this photo right here? What I'm going to try to do in this photo is erase the man. So let's go Generative Erase. And we're ready to go. We take Jenny Race right here. And we're going to tell the AI, I like the scene, but I don't want the man in it. Let's see how he does. How it does. Uh, okay. There we go. We're going to leave the reflection in and see if the AI will figure that one out. That's a bit nuts. Let's go to selection. We'll go back in to see what I selected. And that's what it came out with. So we go back in with the mouse to look. 
and right there you can see what was there is gone so that's pretty amazing now my next test i'm going to do is i'm going to try to get rid of the shadow of the man and see if it can realize that that's a man and a reflection in a window now this is really putting the software to the test quite a bit i don't know if it's going to be able to do what it has to do i press erase i let it go let it work let it work if this does work there's a lot of ramifications to what this can do i'll give you a very good example another thing that's extremely hard for any photographer to get rid of is when there's a reflection in a pair of glasses uh, you can ask any portrait photographer when there's reflections in glasses they are very hard to erase to make it look good oh my god wow that is unbelievable whoa crazy that is nuts there you go guys that's gen erase now i'm pretty amazed by this new tool so if you guys want to go and get it if you already have the software make sure you update to be able to look at this tool and use it it's pretty darn cool here let's go to what used to be there and what's there now wow i'm freaking out really really cool guys like share subscribe and don't forget everybody keep on making something from nothing